The National Football League, or NFL, is a professional American football league consisting of 32 teams. The NFL is the highest level of professional American football in the world. The NFL offseason is in full swing, and a lot is happening in the world of American football. Stick around to find out all the latest news. First, swimsuit model Haley Khalil files for divorce from ex-NFL star Matt Khalil. Former offensive tackle Matt Khalil and his wife Haley Khalil are calling it quits after almost seven years of marriage. The couple married in 2015 and have been separated since January 2022, according to TMZ Sports. According to reports, Haley filed for divorce on May 4th, citing irreconcilable differences. Let's begin with a little insight of how it all began. The 29-year-old Haley sparked dating rumors with the former American football offensive tackle in the year 2012. The duo started dating in Minnesota after the offensive lineman was selected by the Vikings in the first round of the 2012 NFL Draft. These two lovebirds ended up exchanging vows a few years later. It seems like Haley and Matt were going pretty strong as every now and then he was spotted at some of her modeling events throughout the past few years. The couple tied the knot on July 8, 2015 in a secret ceremony on a private beach in Kauai. And in the next year, Haley and Matt had a formal ceremony with friends friends and family on July 8. The couple does not have any kids together. Over the last couple of years, Haley and Matt kept their private life under wraps. We must say that they've been successful in keeping their romance away from the flashing cameras and now they're separating. Throughout their marriage, they lived in Minnesota, North Carolina, California, and finally New York City. Next, Todd Gurley opens up on plans of potential NFL return. Todd Gurley hasn't played since the COVID-19 stricken 2020 season, and the former Georgia star running back is reportedly not yet considering a return to the NFL. While Gurley hasn't ruled out playing again just yet, he believes that family, business ventures, and chilling and enjoying himself are his top priorities at this point, not football. The point was stressed when Gurley revealed to NBC LX that he didn't yearn to play last season when watching NFL games. Todd Gurley was a valuable addition to the St. Louis Los Angeles Rams when he was selected with the number 10 pick in the 2015 NFL Draft, going on to rush for more than 1,100 yards and 10 touchdowns in three of his first four seasons, per NBC Sports pro football talk host Mike Florio. His lone season in Atlanta in 2020 saw him function as a workhorse for as long as possible, but it was clear that the Falcons were simply trying to get what they could out of Gurley's arthritic knee. Now that Gurley is enjoying his retirement and not considering an NFL return, he's moving into the business side of football. Fan Controlled Football announced this past Friday that Gurley is now a part owner of the FCF Beasts. The Bulldog legend will be partnering with former Raiders Seahawks RB Marshawn Lynch, former Ravens cornerback Marcus Peters, and former WNBA basketball player Renee Montgomery. There you have it, Todd Gurley isn't coming back, but you can catch him being involved with with a sport in some form in the very near future. Moving on, Deshaun Watson refused to be part of HBO documentary involving his accusers. New Cleveland Browns quarterback Deshaun Watson refused to be interviewed by HBO regarding an item that will be used on real sports with Brian Gumbel. The lawyer for Watson, Rusty Hardin, told Mary Kay Cabot of the Cleveland Plain Dealer that the superstar quarterback declined the chance to be interviewed. The quarterback's refusal is not at all surprising given the fact that his 22 civil suits are still being processed through the court system, and any potential interview could hinder the perception of the quarterback. One such accuser has already been heard. In a pretrial disposition taken on behalf of Ashley Solis, it was revealed that one of her encounters with Watson left her crying. This prompted the Browns quarterback to send her a text message afterwards. Solis is suing the Browns star for sexual assault. The quarterback met with NFL officials last week regarding the 22 civil suits, accusing the Browns quarterback of lewd sexual behavior. The 26-year-old has denied the allegations and has not been criminal charged. With a dark cloud of potential suspension looming over the 26-year-old, where exactly does that leave the Browns? With Baker Mayfield appearing to be well and truly finished with the organization, the only two players that could start are Jacoby Brissett and Joshua Dobbs. Much hinges on whether the 26-year-old is suspended, and if so, then for how long? Cleveland's 2022 season, in which they had hoped for a Super Bowl run, could be derailed. Signing the 26-year-old to a mammoth five-year, $230 million deal, all of which is fully guaranteed guarantee. Only for him to miss a large chunk of games is not at all ideal, but the organization knew this was a possibility when they signed him. In other tragic news, Dwayne Haskins' death hits NFL community hard. News of the quarterback's passing hit many hard. He was just starting to get his feet underneath him in Pittsburgh, where he was a 
a backup last season but didn't play a snap. The outpouring of emotion from everyone who knew the quarterback was seen, heard, and felt. His wife took to social media to share her thoughts and grief over her husband's tragic passing. It has been a reminder to all that life is both fragile and precious, even more so as Haskins should have had a long life ahead of him. He was videoed in the company of Steelers running back Najee Harris the day before his death. The pair were laughing and enjoying themselves. Having been drafted in the first round by Washington, the former Ohio State Buckeye had hoped to be the man to take the franchise forward. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case, but this upcoming season was thought to be a chance for the quarterback to stake his claim following Ben Roethlisberger's retirement. With the release of the report on Monday, the picture around the sad passing of the 24-year-old becomes a little clearer. It's truly a sad time for all those who knew him and all those who follow the NFL. Next, Dwayne Haskins had alcohol and ketamine in his system before accident that claimed his life. New details regarding Dwayne Haskins and his unfortunate death have now come to light. According to reports, the 24-year-old had a significant amount of alcohol along with recreational drugs, ketamine, and norctamine in his system. These drugs are often used as a medical anesthetic as well as recreational drugs. According to a report released by the medical examiner on Monday, Haskins' blood alcohol reading was 0.20 the first time it was taken and then 0.24. The legal limit in Florida is 0.08. The quarterback trained the day before the incident and then proceeded to go to dinner with a person named Joey. They reportedly had a fight in a club and the pair then went their separate ways. The former Washington Commanders and Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback was tragically killed as he attempted to cross a South Florida freeway. According to the Miami Herald, Haskins passed away due to blunt force trauma and his unfortunate death was accidental. Finally, Nick Foles was close to Philly reunion before signing with the Colts. Nick Foles was close to a Philadelphia Eagles reunion before opting to rejoin Frank Reich at the Indianapolis Colts. Reich was the offensive coordinator for the Eagles when he teamed up with Foles on that memorable run in 2017, which ended with them winning Super Bowl 52 against the Tom Brady-led Patriots in what is considered one of the greatest games of all time. Foles was named Super Bowl MVP, and Reich would go on to become the head coach of the Colts after giving birth to the Philly Special, which had already become one of the most iconic Super Bowl moments. Just how close the former Super Bowl MVP was to an emotional return to Philadelphia is unknown. The Eagles currently have Jalen Hurts entrenched as their starter, with Gardner Minshew acting as a more than capable backup. However, a return for the journeyman quarterback would surely have been a popular move, as he still retains cult hero status amongst the Eagles fan base for his heroics in that thrilling championship run. When Foles made his return to the Eagles, he was merely seen as an experienced backup, brought in to act as a mentor for their new franchise quarterback, Carson Wentz, who was about to enter his second season. The way it played out was a little different. Since departing the Eagles for a second time, the veteran signal caller has bounced between teams again, not achieving much but getting paid handsomely as the league's most expensive backup in Jacksonville and Chicago. In fact, the Bears are still paying him part of the $88 million contract he originally signed with the Jaguars. So as Foles reunites with Frank Reich, will his time with the Colts be spent holding the clipboard? Or is there one last piece of magic left? Well, there you have it. All the latest news from the world of NFL. Make sure to like the video and follow for more of the same.